All right, so we are going to now start doing um, Mudbox. So just open up Mudbox. It should look something like this. It might ask you if it if you had just installed it on your own computer, it'll ask you like what shortcuts you want. Uh, you'll see an option and just choose Maya shortcut so that way it's the same. Uh, but after that, this should hopefully pop open. If not, let's just close this. Um, or that you messed that up, just go to uh, the hotkeys. Where is it? There you go. Um, if you go to Windows hotkeys, uh, it might be on Mudbox. Just choose Maya, and that way those you'll have the Maya hotkeys. Uh, if you do screw that up, and again, if you're in here, just do open, and then you can actually just open up an OBJ. So okay, uh, and then I did the to Mudbox. Boom, open, and here is my dude and or dude debt. Okay, so. Basically, you're going to need to do two things with this. You're going to need to sculpt your character, and you're going to need to um, uh, model uh, or sculpt your character and texture your character. It's uh, and you use the one to inform the other. So first, we're going to want to do is sculpt. Okay, so you'll see there's a painting section up on the top right here. There's a sculpt and there's a painting section. Te uh, section. The uh, the paint. Uh, don't worry about that for right now. Sculpt is what we're going to be doing. So basically what this allows you to do is that you can subdivide the model, okay? So um, to do that, you can uh, control D, I'm sorry, shift D, shift D, uh, control D. Okay, so once you do that, it will um, so divide it up one level. Uh, you can also do it through mesh, add subdivision level, um, control shift D, okay. So uh, add new subdivision level options, okay, yeah. so shift, shift D will add new subdivision, but I can also do it up here. And then once you've made a subdivision level, you can use page up and page down, right? So I can again do another one. So let's just do another control D or sorry, shift D. Uh, so I can go page up, page down, page down, page up, page up. And I can sculpt on something up here, right? And if I go page down, page down, you'll see it's also reflected on each level. Okay. So the idea is that you could sculpt in a really high level and then you're going to bake the sculpt details onto the low res version okay so that's that's it in a nutshell can we undo what's what undo edit undo edit undo neato okay that was different why is this control z it undid that okay so um i'm just gonna reopen it up again for whatever reason i don't really understand what happened there okay okay so, uh, yeah, so here we go. So I'm going to go to, let me see, display. I'm going to turn the grid off. That's not really helping me at all. Um, and so we have sculpt, uh, smooth. These are basically our sculpting tools, okay? Um, and I'm just going to show you how to use them. So the what you want to do, though, is, so I'm going to hit um, shift D, shift D, uh, is this. Um, you can have sculpt layers and not layers. So if I just start sculpting, I can sculpt on this guy, but it will exist on here and I can't like get rid of it. If I add a sculpt layer, um, if I sculpt on this guy, right, I can take that sculpt layer, I can take the strength down, just like opacity in Photoshop, or I could turn that layer off, or I could just go ahead and trash it. Okay, so it's better to work in sculpt layers, but... Also be aware, if I sculpt something in here, if I go to a lower layer, you'll see how it's X'd out. You can only sculpt in that layer is. And even if I have a layer above this one, um, so, control, oh, sorry, shift D, uh, if I have another layer, it also. So you have to be on that exact layer in order to be able to sculpt on that layer, okay? So, page down. Oh, I'm right. Okay. So I'm just going to go and trash that. All right. So it's better to, to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one level up. So this is probably okay. One or two levels up would probably be a good starting point. And what I want you to do is then make a sculpt layer. And I'm just going to call this one adjustments. Um, adjustments. Just good to label things. And we want to mirror on X. So that way when we sculpt on one side, it will happen on the other. Okay. So the main ones you're honestly going to really need are just sculpt and grab. And that's the majority of it. So let's go to grab. Now. Uh, so you see the settings are over here. We just did mirror X. This is size and this is strength. By default, you're probably, your thing's going to be really big and be like, it's not working. It is working. It's just your size is too large. So you might want to take this like all the way down to zero. And then if you hold B, click and drag, 
you can adjust it from there. Okay, so B is strength, and then M, or I'm sorry, B is brush size, and M is strength. So same thing with strength, I bring that all the way down just so that you can see it, and then I would start to pull it up, okay? Uh, but actually with this one, because it's uh, the grab, um, we want it to be the, the full size. So from here, what I would do is just kind of push in. You can just kind of click, and I would just generally make some adjustments um, with your uh, character. So maybe, you know, take this and push this out, and like if I have an area and it's overly flat, like maybe I want that. Like his arm looks a little thin here, right? So I'm just going to kind of be and just sort of pull this out a little bit so, so his arm's a little bit thicker there. Maybe pull this one out a little bit. You know, things like that. Maybe pull this up and also pull it down. Maybe give this a little bit more thickness this way by just kind of clicking. Do it on both sides. All right. Um, you know, I'm thinking same thing. Oops. Okay. And then so I'll just say, okay, so I'll, I'll do little adjustments like that using that. Um, and then I'll use the sculpt here. And... So let's see, let's do M for strength. That's way too much. That's how much it's going to push out. So you can see it's a lot. So I'll just take the M and I'm just clicking, dragging it down. And I'm just going to kind of add a little bit. I'm just going to, and afterwards I'm going to hold shift to smooth. All right, so I'm just going to kind of add a little bit there. He's got pretty filled buttocks there. Um, add a little bit more maybe to there. I'm just going to hold shift after to smooth a little bit, maybe and a little bit of thickness on either side here. All right, so I'm just using my sculpt and just sculpting out a little bit um, where you know he needs to be. So I think I was a little bit more in shape back then. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill myself out. I got a little bit more of a belly uh, than I used to. I'm going to use the grab here, and my shoulders look almost a little too broad to me, so I'm just going to kind of push those back in a little. All right, so uh, I'll call that my adjustments, right? Then what I'm going to do is I will, let's say, Shift-D, Shift-D, maybe two more levels up. I'll do another one, and I'll just call this, like, uh, Anatomy, Anatomy, where I'm just going to basically try to add, like, muscles and that sort of thing, right? So, um, let's fully grab, oops, okay, okay, I'm going to go back to the Sculpt tool, and then I'll just kind of sculpt down, and I'm just going to, you know, Sculpt up a little bit, and then you'll notice that smooth is weaker as you go up to higher levels. So my guy's not real um, strong anyway. So, but maybe add a little bit more of a knee here, maybe a little bit more of a calf kind of a thing, All right? And I'm just gonna smooth that out. That looks fine. All right, maybe let this pack out a little bit. Um, you can make some adjustments in the faces. Like, I feel like my cheekbones are kind of weak here, so maybe just... Oops, that's a little too much. <laughs> Ugh, keep holding. So click and drag down. And just kind of then shift. Smooth it out. All right, so just um, generally maybe add a little bit more to my brow here. A little bit of a stronger thing here. Um, that sort of thing. Uh, but I would go through and really try to make some improvements so i'm just going to pull that nose out a little bit more um so you're just going to generally try to sculpt um the anatomy maybe i'll do another shift d um and i'll make another layer and i'll just call this like i don't know uh wrinkles we'll say wrinkles and in here what you could do is i would suggest looking at clothes so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm still on draw, right? Yep. And then I'm just going to go make it a little bit stronger. And I am going to add some wrinkles. So this will work. Uh, cancel. This will work better with uh, if you have a pen. Ugh, keep trying to. Um, because then you can um, more organically smooth it out. But basically, you'd want to add maybe like shirt wrinkles and things like that you know so like hopefully you get kind of the idea with this All right so i'm just kind of adding things to make it look more 
like a shirt. I'm just holding shift in between. Right, maybe maybe put some wrinkles in here. Right. And, Uh, like that kind of a thing. All right, so maybe you can imagine I did a good job. Now, if you want to go inwards, um, so shift is smooth. If you hold control, that's in. So if you need to cut in, that's how you would do that. Um, so maybe like, ugh, keep doing that. Maybe in here, like to hurt, help define the muscles, maybe I'll kind of cut in a little bit and then smooth it out. You know? Um, come on, that's middle click. Okay, that's not working apparently. All right, so, and then hold control, and I can kind of cut in these muscles a little bit more. If you see what I mean, so I'm just going to hold control and kind of cut that in and smooth that out, All right? Maybe give that a little bit more of a of an of a inwards thing, and you can kind of, again, right here, I could add some of the pant lines of wrinkles, maybe... Um, add the uh that line that you have for like the pants right and i'm just kind of smoothing it out after i draw a line um but i highly suggest um looking at pictures of clothes because like a lot of times pants on the end down here you'll see like these wrinkles where they have like this kind of zigzag pattern kind of a thing so I just kind of oops not like that control kind of cut that in a little um, so you can kind of see how that would go but anyway you kind of get the idea uh, but basically try to add wrinkles and things you can see I mean it doesn't look great but you can kind of see how if I actually like worked on it and was like invested uh, I could probably sculpt something that looks kind of nice, right? So uh, I would kind of add wrinkles to the next level here, and I would just do that all the way through. Then you could add another layer, and we'll just call this, like, texture, maybe. And then just do really more minute things. So, you know, start in um, here. Uh, let's see, B. There we go. You know, I could add more, like, my... Uh, Bilbo Baggins, as my brothers always called it, you know, the nasolabial folds, um, and I could add some other stuff, so we didn't use these yet, but I'll show you them, so let's say I want to add, uh, like, some neckline, so sometimes you see uh, necks have these, like, lines in them, so let's see if I can look it up, hopefully I don't get something weird, let's look up neck wrinkles, let's see, images, probably going to be kind of gross, let's see, I just want normal Neck. Here we go. You kind of see it here. I don't know if you can see it. That was not what I saw before. Okay, get out of there. Uh, but usually there's these like lines you see that kind of cut across, right? This kind of a thing. Um, you can uh, use some of these things here. So I can use these stamp images, and it's kind of similar to if you're in. Um, I might need to actually up the level here. Oh, because I'm still on four. Let's, uh, sorry, shift D. So every time you, um, you up a level, though, it's going to get slower and, um, all sorts of size a little bit too deep. So a little bit more. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, M, I'm going to make it a little bit weaker. And I'm also going to B, make it a little bit larger. But I could kind of use it, you know what I mean, to kind of insinuate some of that stuff and, you know, crow's feet kind of a thing, depending on what your person is. Um, so you can use these different brushes down here, and they have all sorts of different ones that are pretty cool. You know, try it out, see what you get, you know. I mean, obviously, I don't want to do that, but uh, there's all these ones down here. Um, and you can even do things where, like, let's say I wanted, I'm doing a lizard guy or something, right? I could select this, and you can see what it does is it drags it across. But let's say I'm, for whatever reason, I'm wearing, like, some sort of lizard thing here. I could change some of the options down here and do like randomize which will randomize it then i'm going to take my stamp spacing and make it quite a bit more because what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that it, it uh happens across uh, farther so I'll make this a little bit larger uh 
and you can see because it's randomized if you don't do randomize it's going to look like it's just repeating the same thing see what i'm saying but if you turn on randomize come on it will rotate it scale it and what have you and then you can kind of get a cool texture just from um using that now you can see i'm actually still a little bit too low i probably want to do one more subdivision level uh to get full effect of that uh but that's still pretty neat um so you can choose these different ones or just turn it off there's also um stencil so the way stencil works is kind of similar um, let's say i want my shirt to be a brick texture i can grab this brick what it's going to do is it's going to lay over this picture and you can add some too you click this little arrow and you can add a stencil just find a picture and it will use it as a stencil um, same thing with stamps. You can add a stamp. So you just got to find something. Obviously, you want it to be like an alpha that you would use for Photoshop. So anyway, stencil. I'm on this guy. Um, and then I would the way it works, you can see S, middle mouse, and what have you. So if I do S, right mouse will zoom it in and out. Uh, middle mouse will move it. And right mouse will rotate it. Or left mouse will rotate it. Left mouse button. So now, if I were to sculpt on it, you could see I could sculpt basically. It's like you're rubbing it onto the surface, right? And Q will turn it off which is kind of neat, right? So anyway, I'm gonna turn that back off. So you can try utilizing these as well. Uh, but what basically we wanna do is get the best looking sculpt that you can. And once you're happy with the sculpt and you know it, you clap your hands um, and then you would save it. So let's, I'm just gonna save it just because. All right, let's try this again. File, save scene as, oh, there's no hotkey for it. And we'll just say um, uh, mud box guy. And I would just save this into your scenes folder of your Maya project folder, okay? So you would save it, um, and then uh, what we'd want to do is start texturing. Now, uh, to make, yeah, we'd want to start texturing. So I am going to call this good enough for now uh, with this. I'm going to make another video that I'm going to cover texturing. So imagine I went through and actually like did a good job texturing them. I'll make another video that's going to, or sculpting them. Uh, we're going to, in the next video, we're going to bake these textures onto the texture map, and we'll start painting the textures. Uh, and there's a whole process for that as well.